The integer is Mission Workshop's take on the photography bag that has a unique build that makes it a capable travel and EDC backpack. Being one of the most expensive bags in their lineup, I had very high expectations for this bag. They were mostly met, but there were many small gripes that keep it from being the perfect bag for me. Stay tuned to find out why. The integer comes in two fabric options. This one is the VX. Being at $585, this bag is not cheap. It has about 24 liters of cargo room. The EX edition also comes with this large plastic cobra buckle that is very lightweight and I love the way it looks with the aesthetic of this bag. To me, this bag has a unique utilitarian look and balances great materials with functionality. The bag has three openings into the main compartment, the roll top which can be utilized in two ways. The clamshell opening of the lower half uh, for the bottom area of the bag has two pockets on the inside and a side pocket for side access to the bottom of the bag. That is a very hard to get into pocket on the side as well. The main compartment can also be zippered into two sections. You can separate the camera gear in the lower half giving access to the top compartment through the roll top and the bottom from the clamshell and side opening. In the front, there's three archive rails to fit something like the archive tech case or other archive compatible pockets. On the side, there's a three flap system to hold a tripod. But it wasn't well thought out. There isn't a way to secure the bottom flap to the two side flaps to make it into a makeshift pocket, which would make it a much more usable pocket. One extremely shallow front pocket a side laptop pocket that can fit a 15 and a half inch laptop. It also has a lot of protection. An 8 inch pocket on the other side doubles as a bottle pocket with a mesh holder on the inside. But due to how the fabric is, sometimes it does snag. A cushioned top handle is the only external handle on the bag. A super comfy strap system for this size bag and a simple sternum strap system as well. And a back panel with mesh that is very soft and comfortable and allows for airflow. It still gets hot though. Also a luggage pass through on the lower half of the bag. Oh yeah. There's a very durable and good size camera cube, but I never used it because the Velcro was just too strong and would be a nightmare to mess with, so I threw it away. The interior by Mission Workshop is such a cool bag and I really think that a lot of people would be happy with it because of its great construction, its cool design, um, it's flexible use cases and how the bag just looks in person. But there's just so many frustrating small things about this bag that really kept me from fully enjoying it. My experience with it turned out to be a little bit more on the disappointing side, but overall I think this bag is still a great bag for most people. What do you guys think? Do you think this bag is good enough as is or do you think Mission Workshop should really work on those features? Comment down below on what you think. Thanks for watching the video. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and like the video. I'll be producing more review and unboxing videos in the future. And I hope that you guys will watch them. Uh, the product links will also be down below on the uh, item featured in this video. And also I'll have an Amazon link if you want to use my Amazon link. 
I'll make a small portion of whatever you purchase through the link. All right, thanks, bye. Mm-hmm.